Okay, so yesterday nothing released Android 14 based on Nothing OS 2.5 for Nothing Phone 2. We have already done a video covering every major change which Nothing introduced with Android 14. So before watching this video, make sure to watch the video which is being displayed on the screen. The URL can be found in the description below. In this video, we'll talk about few more features which we discovered later during our usage and along with that few changes which we noticed in the UI. All the changes and features which we'll be talking about them in this video were not covered in yesterday's video. So if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys, then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing. Now without wasting any more time, let's start the video. First we'll talk about the features which are not nothing exclusive or nothing OS exclusive. These are Android 14 features. So here towards the left hand side we have device running nothing OS based on Android 13 and towards the right hand side we have nothing OS 2.5 based on Android 14. So one feature which we noticed and this feature was introduced by Google almost two years back that can be found in the settings going to accessibility and here there's a new feature called switch access which consists of a feature called camera switch settings. Basically camera switch is a cool new feature on Android phone that help people who have trouble speaking or moving. They can easily use their device with simple facial gestures and eye movement. So you can watch the video which is being displayed on the screen. This is a dedicated video from Google about this same feature which Google introduced almost two years back. And that feature have now been added on Nothing Phone 2. Another new add-on what you'll find in these settings if you go to notifications now Android 14 also brings this option of flash notification which was recently introduced on Pixel smartphones. So you have two options. One is camera flash. So if you receive any notification, the camera light will flash. And then you also have an option of screen flash where you can choose some color profiles. And here's a preview how screen flash works whenever you receive a new notification. So this is the second add-on. After that, you'll also notice few changes in the battery section. So if you go to battery usage, here you can see a completely redesigned UI and the same thing we have seen on Pixel smartphones where you can check the battery usage by apps or even by system. And you also have the option to check battery usage as per day or you can say hourly basis. So this is another change what they have done in the battery segment. And the last change what we have noticed that's under the system settings and if you tap on reset option here you can see now we have different options to reset Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and mobile network previously were in the same section. So if you were facing any kind of issues with, for example, Wi-Fi, then you had to wipe the settings of mobile data and Bluetooth along with Wi-Fi. But that's not the case now. Mobile network settings have been segregated and you have a single tab to reset settings of Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. This was also introduced with Android 14. So these were the changes what we have noticed now talking about some other minor tweaks which we have noticed and one major change what you will see that's in the color profile and on both these phones we are using the same wallpaper along with the color profile. Still you will see a lot of changes in the colors. So for example if I pull down the notification or the quick setting tile here you can see the enabled tiles had a similar wallpaper color but that's not the case on Android 14. Here we have kind of whitish color and this implementation is in the entire UI. Another change if you see the clock over here yesterday I mentioned the font has been changed and if you tap on the clock this will redirect or open the clock application which doesn't happen on 13. Another change you'll see so whenever you long press on the application on the home screen or even in the app drawer you can see a huge difference in the icon icon size have been decreased on android 14 wherein icon size was a bit larger on android 13 so this is another minor tweak what they have done and if i turn off the dark mode you'll have a different look so while using the light mode you can see the difference previously we only used to see the outline with a very faded pill but now we have a pitch dark pill that too in a very small size. Then there's another change in the brightness slider. So if I slide the brightness slider, you can see the brightness slider takes the entire space in the pill, but which wasn't the case here. As you can see, we only get to see a single line of the brightness slider. So this is another minor change what you'll notice with Android 14. I did notice little bit of improvements in the AOD style compared to Android 13. We have a smoother animation compared to previous build of nothing OS. And after that, if you go to settings, 
sounds and vibration and now you can see here we have two different sliders for ring volume and notification volume previously which was combined in one after that they have moved the keyboard section outside from language and input section or you can say input tab and at last system navigation have been renamed so if you go to gestures here you can see previously it used to say system navigation and now it's been renamed to navigation mode so guys these are all the changes what we have noticed on nothing os 2.5 which is based on android 14 if I have missed out anything, then do let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give us a thumbs up. And also, if you are new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.